What's up y'all, Elle here to help deliver valuable content and marketing strategies and tips to my fellow coaches and service providers, helping you monetize on social media. And in today's video, I'm diving in how to map out and batch 30 days worth of content. So over the past four days, that is exactly what I have done. So I'm going to be sharing with you my exact strategy in regards to market research, planning it out, and recording content along with the best apps and features to use for finding trending, trending audio along with how to edit your videos and content right from your phone. And so without further ado, let's dive in. What's up y'all? So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I will be mapping out 30 days worth of content within four days. So this is my current page right now. I'm literally pivoting. For those of you who might have been following me before, I've made lots of pivots. So I started off in the fitness industry and that was my main hustle. That was my business. I grew it all on social media and that's how I grew my following to the 48,000 that you see here. And then I switched to mommyhood, mom life, and I thought I was going to go that route. Um, then I partnered with my business partner, Chris, and we created the Brand Train University. This is um, one of my businesses right here, which we help coach fitness professionals how to earn their next 10K and really work from anywhere. And then, but on my personal page, I was like, what do I do with my personal page? And I recently spoke at a conference and everyone was asking me for coaching services. And I've always wanted to do it. I literally, back in 2018, wanted to make that pivot away from fitness to coaching and I just didn't. Um, so now I am. And so to do that, I literally feel like I'm starting from zero where all of my audience is mostly fitness professionals or people that were interested in fitness and nutrition. I was doing gut health for a little bit. I literally went through and deleted all of my fitness content. I left some of my personal mommy content on here, but I really just swiped, wiped my page, which I'll show you how to do in a separate video. And I'm now focusing on helping coaches and service providers monetize their social media and grow their business online the way I have with my personal businesses, along with helping many members within the Brand Training University. And so to do that, I was like, okay, I need a whole content like revamp. And one of the key ways that you look for content to post is for me, I go to YouTube. So with YouTube, I will type in whatever um, ideas that I might have. And for example, Instagram is what I'm gonna be focusing on. So I'll be into Instagram like content strategy because that is something that I'm going to be teaching on my page. And so I'll go through here and I see like, what are some of the top videos and what are other people talking about? They're talking about hashtags and maybe engagement, business, um, content batching hacks. And so this will help give me ideas of oh, how to grow fast on TikTok, this will give me ideas of like, what are people looking for and what are people searching in regards to growth on Instagram? But I'll also go to Instagram and I'll look up, you know, social media marketing and I'll scroll through, you know, who are some of my competitors that I can grab just like ideas from that is trending, that audiences are engaging with. And so, for example, I'll just click on one and then I'll go to the comments. Like, what are people commenting? What are they saying? Was this helpful? Um, this person's like saying excellent strategy, useful tips. They're asking about the algorithm and so forth. Um, staying positive is a great one. So, oh, maybe mindset would be a good idea for a reel. How to stay motivated when it comes to content strategy and not getting burnt out. So these ideas will be coming to me while I'm doing my research to batch all my content. So day one, brainstorm. So I'll go through, look at, I'll look at my competitors, I'll look through Facebook groups, um, various hashtags, maybe webinar topics, things that I will research myself. And I'll just grab a bunch of ideas, but I'll always want to go back to what are the main frameworks that I'm going to focus on. And then I'll do that by first, I'll write everything down. So here is like a little notebook of mine that I have where I write down all of my ideas as they're coming to me while I'm doing all this research. And so my goal for the next month is to create 30 reels, eight carousels, eight images, and eight quotes. Carousels are great because they go further 
reels are the main key. My goal is to post one reel a day and within that have carousels throughout. So maybe one day I might post a carousel and then later in the day, I'll also share a reel. And so first I went ahead and wrote out all of my ideas right here in my notebook. And then I came into my Trello board where I have everything mapped out, allowing me to get it from my head into an organized fashion. And so I have like my vision for my business, what I want to study, what I need to complete. And then these Instagram is going to be the main topic, but then I'm also going to, these are like some of the, the pillars that I will discuss and they will be a theme throughout my page. And then I'll break down like some different topics within business strategy, some different topics within growth strategy and so forth. And then in regards to storytelling, I have um, a specific strategy in regards to storytelling, which I'll share in a different video, but I will map out what my stories will look like um, on a different day because right now the main focus is rails, carousels, and uh, quotes along with some lifestyle images. So after I have written all of my ideas down, I now put them in here. And then I've already come in here already. What I like about Trello is you can put like the description and the idea in here. And then also I attached the audio of what I will be using for each reel. And so later in the video, I will be sharing with you how I found these trending audios and a tip in regards to how to find trending audio for your reels. So that way you can, you know, expand your reach on social media, specifically on Instagram, but you can also repurpose these reels for TikTok. So what I like also about Trello is you can set a date and a reminder. So I will be filming all of these on Friday because um, that is the day where I shoot. But specifically for this, yesterday I did all my research. Today I um, found all of the audios and then tomorrow I'm going to film and then day four is editing. And what I like too is a lot of the reels can be repurposed as carousels. And so all I do um, is copy and then move it to the carousel batch and carousels I will do on a, on a separate day because the main goal really is for me to create as many reels as possible to post one a day. I also did um, some lifestyle shoot by myself because you don't need a fancy photographer. You don't need a photo shoot. You just need your handy dandy iPhone and you know a tripod and literally you set it up, you hit record, you take some poses and in any environment you want and then you literally go through and you will screenshot which images you wanna keep. You can edit them if you like, and then boom, you have your photo shoot. Um, I'll show you that later in the video as well. And then quotes. And so essentially, that is how I researched which content, like Instagram, Facebook groups, um, hashtags, what would you search yourself, competitors, and so forth. Then I came into Trello, and I mapped it all out, and then audio. That is, we're going to watch that. that is what we are going to talk about next. So actually, before we go into audio and how you find those trends, I want to share with you how you can go ahead and actually do your own self photo shoot. You don't need a fancy camera or anything like that, just your iPhone. So all you do is you prop up your iPhone in an environment of your choice and you literally just take a video and you do various poses. And then after you finish your video, you just take screenshots of the various images that are going to match whatever messaging or story you are looking to convey to your audience. And then after you screenshot those images, you would save them to your phone to edit later and add them to your content library as you're mapping out your content and your captions for what messages you want to convey to your audience. This method is way more cost effective. You can do it and manage it on your own time and leisure versus trying to book like, on someone's calendar who's a photographer or videographer. I do recommend just being confident, being yourself and not worrying about any eyes in the room because if you are doing this in public, people may look at you because you're propping up your camera and then just doing poses to the camera and no one else is there, but who cares? At the end of this day, this is your business, this is your content, this is your strategy 
for your marketing, your business. So who cares who's looking at you? And at the end of the day, do they really know you? No. So just keep doing what you're doing and just have fun with it. All right, y'all. So I already did all the research in regards to coming up with ideas for the content that I want to share over the next 30 days starting June 1st. And so I mapped it all out right here. I like to handwrite everything before putting it in my Trello. I already shared you how I mapped out everything in my Trello board for the content. But now that I have about 15 real ideas along with 10 carousel ideas, and I already showed you how to do a self photo shoot all by yourself. You don't need a professional photographer. You just need your handy dandy smartphone. Uh, so I went ahead and did that. And so I have about 30 pieces of content ready for June. But before I can go ahead and record my reels, I first need to find trending audio. The key for growth organically on Instagram is going to be to use trending sounds. And so where is the best way to find trending sounds? Yes, you can scroll and on your Instagram feed in the reel section and look for that little arrow that points up to let you know that it's trending or if you hear a recurring sound. But most trending songs start on TikTok. If you haven't noticed already, Instagram is beginning to model everything that TikTok does from reels, short video, doing to going to long form. They're not really pushing images anymore. They are really focusing on video, video, video. So the best app tool to use if you're not using it already is Trend Talk. And so I personally discovered Trend Talk from a sponsored post ad that was on Instagram. I was scrolling and I saw it pop up and I was like, what is this? And at first I was like, why would I need this for Instagram? But it's because any trending sound and most trends are happening on TikTok again before Instagram. So you'll want to download the app and when you download the app, you'll open it up and first thing you wanna do is customize the algorithm for yourself. So you'll see that it wants to learn you. Are you just starting out? Are you looking to build your presence? Are you looking to grow? And so forth. So personally for me, I'm looking to grow because I've just pivoted and I'm starting pretty much from scratch wanting to build a new audience. And so uh, I'm cho I'll choose that, where am I located in the US, and then I'll choose next. And then ask, it will ask, uh, what are your channel's interests? And so um, the one of the CEOs of Instagram recently shared that most people go to Instagram for entertainment, but the key with your content is to make it entertaining, but also edu educational and give value depending on what your business is and specifically as a coach or service provider you always want to include infotainment and the more you can do that the more catchy your uh, your reels will be so i'm going to choose comedy i'm also going to choose education entrepreneurship entertainment uh, and smooth transitions and then i'll hit next and then the intelligence within the app will personalize an album just for me so and now I'll go to home and you'll see that there is a personalized for me section. There's global, US, um, different categories along with what has been historical, historically trending. And then also at the top, you'll see like some of the top influencers on TikTok and what are the sounds that they're using. And so I'll actually go to one of them. So for example, Noah's. And when you scroll and look at the different, different sounds, anything with a green arrow pointing up informs you that this is a trending sound right now and it lets you know how many people within the app have saved it and then anything that has a red arrow pointing down lets you know that it's declining and then anything with a blue dot is informing you that this sound will most likely become a trending sound and so you definitely want to scroll through and look and hear what might work for you and when you go to click on one you can hit play I won't actually play any of the audio just because for copyright purposes, but when you click on it, it will give you a graph. It will let you know where, what countries it's trending in along with how it's been performing. If you notice that it's starting to go down, that might be an audio that you don't want to use because it's not on the up and up in regards to trending audio. You can also click on the top arrow on the top right. It's a little white arrow and it will take you to TikTok and you can see how it's been used. Um, on the platform. And so going back to the audio, let, let's listen to another one. So this is one that looks like 
It, ha it has a blue dot and it looks like it's on the up and up. Not sure how I'll use it, but I'll go ahead and save it for now. Let's see what's another one. This one right here, she's buff. It looks like it's been constantly on the incline and it is a trending sound, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that one. But ideally what you'll do is you'll go through these sounds and because I've made 15 different real ideas, I'm going to find 15 different audios to save for each reel and I'll make a note on my Trello board which sound I'm wanting to use and then I'll go and record them. And so um, there is a save section so once you start saving them they will show in the saved music section and then you can go ahead and actually use them when you're recording. What I personally like to do is I like to have the sound playing while recording the video so you can hear it. So uh, and also record the video in full it's in full entirety outside of the app i personally use video shop there's also InShot, and that is because sometimes you can save a bunch of drafts in your real library and then they go away and then you're like oh crap i just lost a whole batch of content so it's really 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 key to make sure to save your videos after you record them uh, and also have the captions ready and everything and that's why it's really key to get organized in a Trello board or a note. I personally like Trello. So I'm going to go ahead and find tons and tons of audio to match these reels and then I'm going to start recording. Alright y'all, it is day three. I had some appointments this morning so I didn't get to start shooting content earlier. But this is day three which means content shoot day. So. We are coming to the closet to figure out what I want to wear. That's my husband's side. This is my side. I actually need to revamp my whole closet because um, I recently had a baby. So all of my clothes are still mommy clothes. So I'm going to do my best to find something in here that will be suitable. But at the end of the day, you don't have to be all fancy. It all comes down to the value in your content and the transitions and making it infotaining. So that's the key of what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to record me getting dressed. Let's go ahead and get dressed boom and your girl is dressed and so now i'm back in my office i have grabbed my handy dandy notebook with all of my content ideas in it i'm also going to refer to my trello but this is going to be helpful when i'm recording so i'll just find a couple locations in the house and i'll start shooting i'll change my outfits i'll record some of it but the goal is to get as many done in the next hour and a half because i do have to pick up my son um and then whatever i don't shoot today i will continue tomorrow along with editing now I'll walk you through exactly how I edit and shoot all of my reels. So first I like to go into my Instagram story while I have my audio playing in the background from my computer. So I'll hit play on the computer and then I'll shoot various takes on my iPhone using the stories. Once I find something that I like and it works, I go ahead and save those clips to my phone. Next I open my video shop and I select the clips from my stories that I will edit. Then I cut, I slice, I speed up according to what I need to match, make sure that it matches the sound. Once it matches the sound, I go ahead and do one final go through of watching it and making sure that it works. And then I will go back and actually re-record the audio from the computer to my phone within video shop just to make sure that I have a backup in any instance, whereas the draft were to delete. I make sure the final draft is good to go and then I go and open Trend Talk to find the actual audio. I open Trend Talk, open the link, and then I connect the sound to the video and upload as a draft to TikTok. After that, I go into Instagram, open up the Reels tab and upload the video there and also save it as a draft. And here's an example of the final edited version with the caption sped up that has been uploaded to the drafts in TikTok along with Instagram. This is one of many of the videos edited and batched for the next 30 days. So there you have it, y'all. That is how I mapped out 30 days worth of content in just four days. I've only actually recorded 15 days worth of content, but... I plan to continue to record the content because I already have mapped out what audios I'm going to be using. I've already mapped out 
what the actual content piece will be. And now all I have to do is just write the captions and descriptions, which I will continue to do over the next couple days, but I already have captions written out for the first nine pieces, along with the audio. If for some reason the audio send tends to change when I go and check into the app, I can always just go ahead and choose a different, different trending audio. There is also the option to actually increase your volume on your video so that way you hear your sound while still using a trending audio. Here's a video exactly how to do that. So if you see right here, this is your last tip. If you see right here, you can actually upload your video to a reel and then you can go ahead and decrease the volume of the trending audio and increase the volume of yours. So that way you're still using a trending audio without actually having the audio on your video. This will allow you to do voiceover or whatever else you love to create. But I hope you found this video and all these tips useful. Please make sure to go ahead and implement them into your business strategy. Let me know how you found them helpful below and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more future videos to come. And until the next video, y'all, make sure to strive to be the boss in your business and continue to elevate your brand.